We've just got the pieces for our temporary offices on site um, end of last week, beginning of this week, and they're already starting to assemble those together. Once they're assembled, they'll have to um, install the kind of the infrastructure on the inside, wiring and so forth and internet. So it's going to be a little while before they're ready. Probably we figure about mid-August. There will be two eight plexes total, so a total of 16 single wide trailers. Eight of them will be joined together to form one office building. So a total of two office buildings, and then you'll have your entryway and uh, ADA ramps, everything uh, to, to enter the office trailers. We are still in the process of replacing the six miles of fence that was either destroyed or damaged in the tornado. So seven months later, we do have uh, some new fencing that's been installed. So uh, we are starting with the perimeter fencing. That's our first priority. That way we can get cattle turned out onto pastures that we haven't been able to use over the last seven months. Uh, so this uh, pasture that we're in now, uh, we'll hopefully be able to get cows turned out in it sometime next week. Uh, so that'll be an, an additional uh, 50 or so acres that we'll have available to the, the cow herd here. It's gonna take some time. We've got a lot of land clearing that has to happen, a lot of cleanup and debris from, from fallen trees and things. We're strategically going pasture by pasture uh, so that as the contractors finish up one section, we can get cows turned out there and then move on to others. We're trying to be strategic about it so that we can keep the, the cow herd maintained here um, and get pasture turned back over to them. We were fortunate to get our dryers replaced um, through the insurance. We lost two large cabinet dryers and we just got these two dryers in. It's been about a six month process. So we finally got these in beginning of June and got them installed here temporarily on top of the hill across from the beef unit. These dryers are essential part of our infrastructure. Most of our programs here report things on a dry matter basis. So we have to have some way to dry samples down uh, and then prepare them for further analysis through grinding. So we had to replace that drying infrastructure as fast as we possibly could. We have a brand new Wiley sample mill and a brand new UD sample mill, along with a new air compressor that's used to clean out the grinders between samples.